We're here at your valve test facility in Antwerp. Can you briefly describe what kind of steps are involved in valve repair? When a valve comes in, uh, we uh, look at it to, to see the first damage. Then we dismantle the valve. We look at the internal parts. We uh, see the valve damage there. And then uh, the parts go to the sandblasting and the cleaning. Um, after that, we uh, put on a coating, an anti rust coating, uh, and then uh, the really repair works are being done. Uh, the valve is put together, uh, is being tested, and is being painted again to go to the client. I can imagine that uh, if a valve is uh, damaged, you need spare parts. Where do you get the spares from? Uh, some clients provide us the, the spare parts. Uh, we buy them at a, a factory. Uh, of the original makers, but we can uh, rework the, the spare parts which are inside also. Uh, we, we stellite them or uh, we rework them on the, on the turning uh, benches. Now obviously uh, valves come in different uh, materials, so what happens if you have to make a repair on a, a duplex valve or a titanium valve? Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, we've got a lot of uh, experienced technicians here to work on that. And looking around, I can see you've got some benches are red, some are blue, some are green. Is this just to make the facility pretty? Yeah, of course. But uh, we uh, use them for uh, the different kinds of valves we get in. The, the blue uh, benches are for the control valves, the, the reds are for the safeties, and the green one you see here are for the on-off valves. And does this make it more efficient internally? Yes, of course. It's uh, very clear where the valves have to be repaired uh, and what people have to do. And can you give me an indication of the sizes and the types of valves you have here for repair? Yeah, we get all types and all sizes, but the, for on-off valves, for instance, the smallest sizes are being re replaced by new ones. Uh, that's not uh, cost efficient. So once the valve has been fully repaired, what has to happen then? We test the valve uh, and we use the American standards, the API standards, uh, to test these valves. But if necessary, you can also test to Belgium or Dutch standards, I presume? Yeah, we can uh, test them in even uh, on customer standards, if necessary. Final question. Now, looking around, I can see in a corner you have some cutaway valve models. What do you use those for? For education. We have got a lot of young people working here, and we uh, have an education program for them, uh, taking about six months, uh, and we give them a chance to become a, a valve technician here.